noticed in my car recently that there's a button that allows me to turn off the passenger side airbag. <laughs> ah, I use it all the time. Someone starts complaining about my driving. Like, slow down, what are you trying to kill us? Not us! <laughs> The comedy studio started when myself and a few other comedians would come to the Hong Kong to have a couple of drinks after our shows, and just got lucky that the Hong Kong was remodeling and had some space for us. We did a Sunday night show that took off, and we added other nights, and now, 12 years later, we're full-time. I feel like I'm at someone else's high school lunch table. <laughs> like I'm standing here trying to be cute, and you guys are all going, don't even make eye contact with him. We talked to me until saw your look away. The producer of the Conan O'Brien show was quoted saying, this is the greatest comedy club on earth. And since then, the Letterman people come up, the Comedy Central people come up, Montreal Comedy Festival. We've, we've gotten a nice little foothold in the industry because of that. Time travel, that is a complicated thing. Stephen Hawking tried thinking about it, ended up in a wheelchair. <laughs> Every night has that unique feel that if you miss one night, you, you missed the night that something special happened. Do you guys know in New York, all the cute guys come in pairs. <laughs> the, the national comedy scene is dominated by New York and Los Angeles. That's where you go to get discovered. Boston is now known as one of the places where you get it together so that you're ready to be discovered. And my biggest challenge as a tennis coach is the pep talk. Because how do you fire up a tennis team? <laughs> they think you're poor. <laughs> they think you rent your summer houses. They think both your parents work. What are you going to do about it? Let's go, Mitt Romney on three. I'm Rick Jenkins. This is the Comedy Studio in Harvard Square. Thank you very much.